Are you looking to learn how to make a needle felted moon? If so, then you're on the right video because today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to make one and more. Welcome to today's video, How to Needle Felt a Moon. My name is Iceland, and on this channel, Snowflake Forest Felting, I share needle felting videos, have needle felting tutorials like this one, and share product reviews from time to time. So if you're new and this interests you, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure and check the links in the description below this video or leave a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. So to begin, I'm going to show you everything you're going to need to make your needle felted moon. You're going to need your needle felting needles, your surface protector, foam pad. I have two, one for doing the bone color, the other for when I'm adding the color. And you can do whatever color you want for your moon, yellow, blue, I'm doing blue. And then you're going to need a little black, a tape measure to know the size of your project, and some scissors to trim it up. And remember, I'm going to have all this stuff linked down in the description below. You can learn more there. Now, let's get to felting. Alright, go ahead and get your needle felting needle out. And then you're going to take some bone colored wool. And you're going to want to felt it into a crescent shape. The amount of wool that you will need is going to depend on how big you want your moon. I'm making mine about 4 inches in size. Which is just perfect for like a newborn prop. And then I'm going to make the top point down a little bit more and then the bottom a little shorter and up. And then if you want to add a nose to your moon, you'll make a little spot right here of a little extra wool. So then that way you'll have a nose. So just continue piercing your moon with your needle felting needle until it is completely firm and solid. You're just going to continue to condense the wool down and the firmer it is, the better it'll be when we add on the color. you felt it on the one side some don't forget to be flipping it back and forth constantly this will help keep your project nice and smooth and keep it being 3d and not completely flat you'll felt at all angles And be careful not to felt your nose into your project. You want to keep shaping it. And if you need to add any wool to your project to help smooth it out, just do that to fill in any gaps as well. And also measure your project. Make sure you're getting it into the right size that you want it to be. This one is still a little big and remember the more you felt the more it does shrink down. Once your moon is completely firm, if there are any spots that you want to trim up, like maybe the points to make them more pointier, or maybe you even need to change the size of your nose, don't be afraid to go in and trim the areas up. Remove any extra wool if you need to. Next, it's going to be time to add the color to your moon. I'm going to switch surfaces, take your color, and then you can kind of spread it out. You're going to begin to layer it and completely cover the moon with the color. So just felt that color right on until it's completely covered. Make sure you do both sides and completely cover it. You don't want to see any of the bone color coming through. And then once 
once you've got your color completely felted on, it is time to give your moon the little sleepy eye. So you'll take just a tiny bit of the black. You're gonna wanna take the black and roll into a super thin line. And you can add the eye on just one side or both sides if you want. So you're also gonna make this in a crescent shape. And then trim off the excess, just like that. And then you're gonna wanna make little tiny eyelashes along the bottom as well. So to do that, just start at the end and then make another little half crescent. Trim off the end excess. And then you felt the end in like that. And then make another one. Trim this one a little shorter. And then make a third one. Need a little more wool. Attach it in there. Trim it off, tuck the end in. I'm gonna tuck mine in a little more. Felt it on really super well. And then if you even wanna add a fourth lash, you can. the other side and now you're going to want to just continue to felt your moon and make it completely smoothed out and you're also going to want to trim any excess fibers off of it this will also help smooth it out and then once you finish that your moon is finished and then here's a look at it up close All right, that's it. That's everything you need to know to make a needle felted moon and be a fiber artist too. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please be sure and give it a thumbs up. And if there's something you'd like to see me felt next, be sure and leave it down in the comments below. I might just make it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.